by 1983, when the virus was identified, it had become global. And so scientists have had to track back and try to follow it back to its roots. And uh, luckily for them, this is a virus that mutates really quickly. In fact, it, it mutates a million times more quickly than human DNA. It's an RNA virus, so it's, um, so it's changing all the time. Um, and using the premise that if you take two viruses from two different locations, uh, the uh, number of mutations between them, i.e. the differences between them, relate directly to the time that they diverged from each other. Um, and so using that sort of logic, um, scientists identified Kinshasa as the sort of launch pad of the virus. Um, and they then looked at uh, viruses around the world and they've managed to actually pinpoint, astonishingly, um, right to the year, more or less, exactly when it left Kinshasa. And so it turns out that it um, jumped, first of all, to Haiti, and that would be inside one infected individual. One virus uh, jumped to Haiti in um, 1966, uh, or roundabout, and then a couple of years later, another virus inside one individual jumped to the United States. And from the United States, uh, as we know, it then uh, very rapidly moved to Europe and beyond. Um, and so that's really, that was the beginning of its global journey, if you like.